Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream. Sunday Marathon, we're gonna jam Queens here. So it's, we'll stick with this one. R bendy. Like eveningy. <laughs> Probably isn't that though. He's from Canada. Big bird have sevens. Nines, that'll do. That's a great start. Great turn. And a safe river. Suddenly, guys, 26.6 bigs in the marathon. We are 112 of 201. And now we're just going to get it in. Okay, flip in again. It's a good start. Safe turn. Bad river. To be fair, though, we uh, <laughs> we got lucky on a ten river earlier, so we uh, we're not going to be too worried about that. Uh, here, three bet pot. Um, I'm just going to go broke here. Uh, here with tens, see a raise and a jam. Just going to get it in against sixes. It's a good start. Great turn. Safe river. Uh, here then we block his most obvious value hands. It's not a great situation, um, but like we should, well, we block Jack Ten, we block Aces, we block Ace King, we block Ace Queen, um, and I don't think you should get to this point in the hand and, and fold. So that's uh, pretty unfortunate. But uh, let's see. Um, well, not unfortunate. It's like one of the hands that we knew he could have, right? Uh, here I'm going to flat with threes. I think it's really close, to be honest. Um, we are somewhat deep, but like not, you know, we're still playing closer to chips than ICM, I would say. Uh, we also cover him, so it's, uh, can't be like, we get to realize more because he's going to play more passively because we cover him. Uh, if you bet small, we call, to be fair, if you bet, we have to call, I think with threes, that's a big bet. Uh, having three of hearts is good because we know that if we hit a set on the turn, we're good. Whereas if we didn't have threes and three of hearts came we lose to a flush um i don't think we fold here though i don't know whether we need to start bluffing now uh he checks mm. when he bets big like he can have some over pairs that he's never he's never folding we can check and realize we can we you know we can bluff river we can check back some flushes here. We don't have to bet them all the time. Um, I think if he checks river, I, th I mean, that's an ideal deal river card for us to bluff. Um, but if he checks river, like, I think that we don't have enough showing it. Like, yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go for it. Uh, so we're trying to get like over pairs to fold here. Um, over pairs without a heart shouldn't be shouldn't be calling and we want to go big because when we get to bluff more and we definitely have some 10x to play like this we can have flushes that play like this uh so let's put him in a really horrible spot as well which is you know what we like to do and uh sometimes you you know you got to pull the pull the trigger on the on the bluff guys and uh whew, got it through uh in the 215 just gonna call here with nines and proceed against 7-5 suited. Faded lots of stuff there, that's for sure. Uh, up to here, we cover this guy. Uh, I think we want to use big, big size here. Uh, he should do a decent amount of leading here. He's got way more 4x than I do. Um, I think we still want to want to bet we can bluff some some rivers okay well can't win them all guys okay just gonna rejam here I don't know if this is a as a pay jump yeah as a pay jump that's why this guy is uh, doing this but we're going to jam uh, ace 10 off this guy looks quite tight. I might actually just flat here. Um, talking of ace 10 off. Uh, it's a cutoff open. Mm, cut off 38%. It's weird. Well, what? 8 of 21. And then his button is 24. That makes no sense. Um, 
I'm going to go with my original thought to check call. Uh, this is the best ace we, we have in this spot. Um, so he could be checking back some strong hands, but really he, you know, he's in, he has he's more incentivized to to bet with his with his best hands. Uh, so I think we we get to start start betting here. Mm, that seems too big. Um, he called. Uh, he can have some two pair that beats us, obviously. Uh, I think blocking is probably going to work out. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ends up having ace jack. I think it's. A, I mean, it's one hundred percent a bet on the flop. Just gets value from all of our ace x, all of our hearts, all of our draws. I don't really understand it. I'm going to check all the flop. Yeah, we would do that with aces. We do it with ace king. Um, I still think we, you know, we might have the best hand with queen high. I think just going for a check call. Hopefully, he doesn't bet too big. And uh, again, still think we we could have the best hand. Might have to pull out the cape on the river here. I mean. Um, for one big, I mean, he could just be betting anything here. Uh, it's not really a thing. He's probably, he, like, probably is just min betting a nine or something. He has an ace. Wow. Uh, don't think that you want to check that back pre. Okay, so it folds to us. I will jam. Okay, here we go. Okay, flipping against ace queen, that's a bad start. Okay, we are out. Uh, blowout series, gonna go for a raise. Uh, this guy's limped a lot. Uh, well, he's only limped 6% actually. How interesting. How very interesting. Uh, that's a great turn card. Um, up here in the blowout, we three bet jamming versus a cutoff open. He has the same hand. Uh, here, I think we go small bet or check even. <laughs> um, can we jam for value? No, probably not. We could jam if we had a boat. We have to bet for value though. I don't know what he limp calls here. Uh, maybe we can jam for value. We have a straight. He doesn't just always have a full house here. Um, get him to hero call us with like ace eight, ace seven, something like that. Or the bottom end of the straight. Yeah! Nice. Up to 74K in the 215. Let's go. Well, we've lost a lot of time bank in the, in the blowout series. Okay, this guy, I mean, we want to play pots with him for sure. Cold calling three bets out of position, not something that a good player would do. And, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just go and uh, see, see what happens. I mean, this is, this is looking good, as long as he doesn't have Queen-10 suited. <laughs> well, he's saying he's got Queen-10 suited. Maybe Ace-Jack. Um, Cole calling the three bet with Queen-10 suited. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. We have the Ace of Spades, so if a Spade comes off, we can, you know, we feel less bad that he got there with a flush. Just got to call, give him a chance to bluff with some random stuff. If he has a speed, he has a speed. Absolute cooler. Nothing we could do. Certainly, I get like you know against anybody. And like I just I I would be absolutely happy uh, in that spot. And um, yeah, top two against the set. What are you gonna do, guys? What are you gonna do?
Okay, just gonna bet like he's not gonna fold an ace if he has something less than a king. Like he he folds anyway. So, um, you yeah, know, let's 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 build the pot. Um, we completely unblock uh, an ace, and yeah, we just wanna wanna try and try and get all the chips in here. Okay. So really just, why is it? Roma, eight, nine, seven, seven, two. Looks like a reg, 440 hands. Uh, I could definitely have an ace here. I could have, I guess our pocket sixes. Um, yeah, and definitely like uh, just jamming for value. Right? Nothing really more to say than that. He ends up having a six, so a bit of a cooler for him. Block sixes, blocks aces, blocks ace king. Like right, seems pretty good. It's the day of the coolers. Our stack has just gone like this. <laughs> Back up to 93 bigs. Hand I mean the hand played itself, right? It's so funny, like, you know, though the 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 big hands early in a tournament are the one like just absolute coolers. Like unless you like triple barrel bluff, right? Then it's generally just going to be a cooler, or somebody just terrible and puts too much money in with a bad hand. Um, like it's not, yeah. I don't think it's like skill, really. Sizing might be, choice of sizing might be. Okay, so just going to two point five x here. Okay, that squeeze looks looks pretty strong. Um, I'm going to jam, like, I really just hope this guy doesn't, like, well, if he, <laughs> like, he doesn't make a huge mistake, but, like, if he does, then that's great for us, right? Um, he just calls it off now with, like, threes or something, that would just be so sick. Wow, cooler central, guys, what I keep telling you, early in a tournament, like, literally, big hands, big pots, just cooler, 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 cooler. Okay, um, I think there's some flying here. The RNG is quite low here, so we're going to go for a call. Maybe this guy's tilting. I think this guy can shove like ace queen and pairs here, so I, I don't think we get to fold. Um, he's not going to expect us to have a hand as strong as ace king, just a flat here, so uh, yeah. Let's go. We'll get our second bullet ready. Okay. Heart. Hit me with a heart dealer. Mum man. Okay. This guy's three bet. This is six three bet in 120 hands. Um I don't want to fold. I call. Um, well, we've got backdoor flush draw. We've got an overcard. I think that's probably good enough to continue. I think we would be folding too much. We're going to fold king 10 of hearts, king 10 of clubs and stuff. So fold. Oh. Uh, Mr. GG, not Mr. GJ. Uh, Mr. GG, hey, which program is the one in the lower left corner? Uh, that's uh, Star's caption. Uh, so we just have an easy call here. And uh, and a bluff on the river, and we might need to get the uh, re-entries out. So we, yeah, um, we can get Ace King to fold if he has that. Um, he can have, I mean, he have sets. He can have over pairs. We block kings. Um, I probably wouldn't bluff spades, but I think bluffing diamonds is good. And now we review it because just because we won, guys, doesn't mean it was any good. Okay, just going to open 2.5x. We're playing like 100 bigs deep ish. Yep, 
donk bets again. I think we just have a really neat, nice call here. Um, I mean, he's it's it's bizarre to see a lead here. I think um, so. Anyway, I'm just going to call and call again. I mean, we unblock diamonds. We unblock hands like queen ten, uh, queen nine. Hmm. Interesting river. He bets three times. Like, I, I feel like he won't fold a jack here. Like, we want to be polarized on the river, right? We either have a full house or we have nothing. <laughs> Um, so the bigger we go, the more bluffs we get in this line, uh, for this line. Um, and we put him in a spot where he's just like, he's not going to know what to do, right? So you could like argue it's like, oh, exploitatively, you want to raise smaller so that we get a call from him, right? But do you, what you saying, what did you have? I'm going to just joke with him here. He said he had ace-jack. I said, oh, maybe not then. Uh, I think I'm just going to flat here this deep. And I think, flop, you know, hitting a set against this guy would just be amazing. Um, I think we call for, for like just over half pot. Uh, if we didn't have a club, I think I would fold. So like in terms of other hands that we like, we have five X of clubs, we can have Jack X, we can have sets, we can occasionally have straight, um, but then, you know, we have these kind of hands. Um, I, I still think, you know, we could be, we could be good here. Um, we could be very good now. He'd love that if he's got Jacks or seven, eight or something. <laughs> I think a common mistake for us there is um to lead the river like he's still saying that he has a very strong range right and we just have like a bluff catch range we improve like amazingly but that card doesn't really change things right um so um yeah doesn't really doesn't really change anything uh shout out to carnivore for the follow um like a seven or a three or a club, you know, maybe that changes things, right? But um, this card just is, you know, we just want to continue to check to him and give him a chance to to bluff or, you know, he's going to value bet. But like, let's say, let's say on the river, like he has bluffs and he has value bets. Then if we bet, what does he do with his bluffs? Well, he just folds, right? What does he do with his value hands? Some he'll raise like jacks and other sets uh, and other ones he'll just call um, but when we check he value bets his value hands and he bluffs some hands as well and i'm really hoping guys i feel like i feel like you might have missed the big hand oh my goodness oh my goodness i think you've missed the i think you've missed the big hand nah surely not surely i wouldn't have been that silly surely i wasn't that silly oh no guys have i I've had an absolute Western super mare, haven't I? I thought you guys could see the table I was on. Oh my goodness. This, okay. Well, anyway, guys, let me talk you through the, the hand that we just played against our friend. So we open with twos. He calls, he leads the flop. Uh, we, we call for the miracle too, right? It comes, he continues to bet, we call. He bets half pot again, we jam, he calls with king eight clubs and we win a monster pot. 
Uh, so yeah, guys, sorry, uh, you completely missed. It. I can't believe that you missed that action because, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy. And I can three bet here with Ace King. I think if he four bets, I think we just pile. So he four bets to eighteen bigs. Ooh, that's a lot of kings. Uh, I think if we bet small, like I don't think that we get more calls if we go for a small bet. Uh, so hoping here, like he has king queen, king ten, king nine, and not jacks or king jack. Right, that's it, guys. I'm not going to try and steal the last hand. I'm happy with 160 big blinds going into day two. Um, not going to stream on Twitch tomorrow, guys, but I am going to be uh, streaming day two for uh, Game Changer. Uh, so if you want to see day two, you're going to have to join Game Changer. Uh, so just do command Game Changer into the chat right now. That's going to wrap it up, guys. If you haven't done so already, hit the follow button on Twitch. Uh, go over to YouTube and subscribe on there as well, youtube.com forward slash School. Check out the website, mctpokerschool.com, for everything you need from you know, social media links to coaching, um, articles, uh, modules, things to improve. You know, Everything you need should be on there. If you need to, you can send me an email and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, you, know, you can send a message directly from the website. Um, but yeah, you can also email me, support at mttpokerschool.com. Definitely follow on all the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever, because I'll, I'll post on there where I'm, uh, what time I'm going to be live. Um, I will be back for some study streams later in the week. And uh, that's going to wrap things up. So cheers, guys. Thanks for being here. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.